Hey everybody, Rob again from RV Adventures. Today I'm going to show you my uh, power converter removal and uh, replacement with a solar charger uh, project. So this all started a while back. I uh, upgraded my uh, battery bank to two golf cart batteries from Costco. And uh, at the time I didn't realize um, how inefficient a regular RV uh, charge converter actually is until uh, I went camping with those batteries the first time and they uh, they died probably on our second day they started to uh, go downhill pretty fast so I came home and started doing some research on it and uh, came across an article uh, from Handy Bob on the RV battery charging puzzle I think it's titled and uh, spent quite a bit of time reading that and emailed him a couple of times and he's a nice enough guy he emailed back and explained some things uh, so basically the the short story is that originally my um, charge converter was located underneath the fridge and behind that electrical panel right there. Uh, the problem with that is the charge converter was set at an absorption voltage of 14.4 and that particular converter only ever got to 14.25. Uh, for whatever reason it wouldn't charge higher than that and then to compound the problem there's this massive wiring run to get back over here and what we're looking at here is the back side of my battery bank uh, so the voltage drop on there meant that the batteries only ever saw about 13 and a half to 13.8 volts which is not enough to charge them and especially with those uh, interstate Costco batteries uh, if you look up the data sheet on those they require a uh, absorption voltage of 15.3 uh, volts if they're wired in uh, series like you would on an RV so basically I took the charge converter out and tried to relocate it here tinkered around with it tried to raise the voltage of it and ended up cooking it uh, the thing was kind of uh, useless anyway so then I started investigating well why not just get a solar charge converter because they can be programmed so you can get in there and actually program the absorption voltage set points uh, what you want it to float at there's all kinds of different things you can program in there so I started researching that um, a lot of the uh, the products that I came across their uh, customer support did not advise uh, powering it with a power supply uh, but I came across a Morningstar and they said their um, their PWM controllers cannot be powered with a power supply but their uh, MPPT controllers can so that led me to the Sunsaver uh, and it's a 15 amp uh, solar converter and I got on eBay and this little device here is actually a um, LED driver so the thing is the power supply has to be higher than the voltage that you're going to charge at for the uh, charge converter to do its job so I got the LED uh, 24 volt uh, power supply and then wired it up to the uh, charge controller I installed an outlet in this box here and then one of the problems I ran into was if you turned off the power supply and turned it back on quickly, it would cause the charge controller to click. And uh, customer service didn't know what that was. And basically they, didn't, they thought it was something to do with the power supply, which it probably is. Uh, and they didn't really have a workaround for it. So this little box that you see right here is actually a delay on timer. And I found out that if you let everything sit in the off condition for about five minutes, it would power up just fine. So I wired that into the uh, power supply. I also wired in a, um, a thermal switch that controls the fan because the fan came on no matter what anyway. Uh, so now the fan will only come on if the power supply is heating up and that would be if you're using lights or some kind of load in the RV or if it's under a charge condition it'll come on. Uh, one of the other cool things about the Sun Saver is it comes with a jumper there and in the program setting you have two charging profiles 
in, uh, it depends on whether the jumper is in or out, which charging profile it will use. One of the things I discovered about the Sunsaver was that it will switch programs kind of on the fly. So I removed the jumper and then wired in a switch up here, just above my trimetric. And this switch will allow me to uh, switch between a program that I have that's just kind of like uh, mimics a um, charge converter, a regular converter that an RV would have that's kind of a lower voltage, like 14.4. It'll hold that for a couple hours and it'll drop down to 13.8. Uh, if you want to go to a full absorption voltage, you can switch that guy over and you can see the uh, voltage jumped up. I have it set at 15.4 to compensate for uh, voltage loss in that couple feet of wiring run to the batteries. Um, you can switch over. These batteries are pretty well charged, but on an empty set of batteries, uh, this will show 14.6 amps going in to charge it. So I know it's not quite as powerful as a, uh, as a regular charge controller or converter in an RV, but with the low voltage and the voltage loss from where most RV chargers are mounted, you'll never see the 40 amps anyway because you're going to lose it all in the wiring and in the placement of the, um, the converter to start with. So this enabled me to get rid of the converter and fully have control over the voltages that my batteries charge at and actually give me two different charging profiles that I can select between. So I know there's a lot of talk on the forums about um, powering a uh, solar charge converter with a power supply and uh, there it is in action. And one of the next things I want to tackle is actually getting a couple of solar panels uh, and then I would have to I assume run the wiring down through this uh, entertainment center and then uh, I'm going to have to determine whether they can just be wired in parallel with the uh, power supply or if I'm going to have to rig up some kind of transfer switch. So that will be uh, another video. Alright, this is Rob from RV Adventures and this is my, my charge controller replacement. Thank <laughs> you.